Folks, one of the things that I have found with talking with our beekeepers in Florida and also hearing about the devastation beekeepers are having out in California is where flooding is the major culprit of colony loss within Florida and also California. So I wanted to just take a moment and Brian, let's go ahead and put the slide up on, on there. Now, a lot of times when we look at flood zones, maybe we don't even look for flood zones. Um, if you are in a flood zone, you got to be able to move your hives fairly quickly and moving hives, as we all know, can be very, very time consuming, if not difficult on top of that. So what I would highly encourage us to look at is the 100 year flood zone and try to keep our hives out of that flood zone. So when, when a lot of precipitation comes in your neck of the woods, you're going to be above that flood plain and thus save your hives. I think that's one of the biggest takeaways with interviewing beekeepers is they were not aware that under significant circumstances that they would be in a floodplain. So that's, that's our takeaway. Um, if you're on the East coast and you get hurricanes coming in, you really want to find that higher ground or elevate your hives high, high enough so that they're not going to be in that flood zone. So that's our education uh, coming out of this trip down to Florida and talking with beekeepers elsewhere.